plus in is broken into a mass m is broken into two parts of masses a mass capital m is broken into two parts of masses m1 and m2 how are m1 and m2 related how are m1 and m2 are related so that the gravitational force of attraction the gravitational force of attraction between the two parts in diagram capital m is the mass of the body which is broken into two parts here capital capital m is broken into two parts and the masses of the two parts so we can denote the distance between the centers of two parts so these are the two parts having masses m1 and m2 m1 and m2 are the masses of the two parts and we can denote the distance between the centers of these two parts r is the distance between the centers of two parts of masses m1 m2 fg is the gravitational force of attraction acting between the two parts in this case capital m is is broken into two parts of masses m1 and m2 let capital m be the mass capital m be the mass of a body which is broken into which is broken into two parts which is broken into two parts of masses m1 and m2 of masses m1 and m2 such that such that if m1 equal to m small m m2 equal m minus m1 equal m minus m such that m1 equal to m and m2 equal m minus m not if we have to cancel that uh, word if now the gravitational force of attraction gravitational force of attraction acting between the two parts acting between the two parts of masses m1 and m2 of masses m1 equal m and m2 equal m minus m capital m minus small m is given by fg equal g m1 m2 divided by r square where r is the distance r is the distance between the centers of two parts of masses m1 and m2 distance between the centers of the two parts therefore if g equal g m m minus m divided by r square if g equal g m m minus m divided by r square g to be maximum for fg to be maximum ddm of fg equals zero differentiation or derivative of gravitational force fg will be zero now m1 equal m and m2 equal m minus m capital m equal m1 plus m2 that is uh, ddm of g by r square m into m minus m bracket closed equal 0 g by r square is taken outside ddm because g by r square are constant ddm of m into m minus m square equal 0 or comma g by r square ddm under bracket m into m minus ddm under bracket m square equal 0 or comma g by r square capital m is constant so we can bring dm outside ddm 
m ddm of m minus 2m equals 0. Now we can uh, use this formula ddx of x to the power n equal n dot x to the power n minus 1. That is uh, the formula which is used to find ddm of m square. So from this formula we can write ddm of m square equals uh, 2m ddm of m square equal to small m g, uh, g by r square capital m into 1 minus 2 small m equals 0 therefore m minus 2m equals 0 or comma 2m equal capital m therefore small m equal capital m divided by 2 that is the mass of the one part. Therefore, m1 equal m equal m by 2. And mass of the other part is m2 which is m minus m equal capital M by 2 again. Therefore, we can write m1 by m2 will be 1. m1 by m2 will be 1. Therefore, m1 equal m2. If uh, gravitational, now if uh, here capital M is broken into two parts M1 and M2 and Fg is the gravitational force of attraction and Fg will be maximum if M1 equal M2, M1 equal M by 2 and M2 is also M by 2. That means masses of the two parts will be same if gravitational force of attraction. Hence if a mass capital M is broken into is broken into two parts of masses m1 and m2 such that m1 equal m2 such that m1 equal capital m by 2 and m2 equal capital m by 2 and m1 by m2 equal 1 that means m1 equal m2 that is the two parts have the same masses, have the same mass, then the gravitational force of attraction, the gravitational force of attraction, that is Fg equal G, small m, m minus m divided by R square, will be maximum, will be maximum.